A circular loop of wire of radius 12.4 centimeters is placed in a magnetic field directed perpendicular to the plane of the loop, as shown in the figure below. If the field decreases at a rate of 0.53 tesla per second, in some time interval, what is the magnitude of the EMF induced in the loop during this time interval? So we'll start out with an equation uh, that the EMF is equal to the change in flux, change in magnetic flux over time. Well, the problem gives us uh, the change in magnetic field over time. It gives us that as 0 0.53 tesla per second. So how do we equate that? Well, flux is equal to, that's a horrible B, flux is equal to uh, the the uh, magnetic field times the area and times the sine of theta, which it tells us is perpendicular. So it's going to be uh, times 1. So I'm just going to leave uh, B times A. Well, if my area stays the same and my magnetic field is constantly changing, then the change of B, change of B times A is going to equal a change of flux. And these are supposed to be deltas or triangles. And since I have B over time, then I have basically, uh, I have the change of flux over time is equal to the change in the magnetic field times the area over time. And this is the, one of the quantities that I'm given in the problem. Now the area is going to be equal to pi times r squared. Make sure you convert r into SI units. And then you just substitute, so you get that the EMF, so I'm substituting everything into this first equation, is equal to delta B over T times pi times R squared times the sine of theta, which is 1. And then when we convert that into millivolts, what we should get is, uh, you multiply it by 10 to the third to get it into millivolts, is 25.6 millivolts. Now, I don't know why the question, why the, this figure gives us a, a spot, mar spot marked A and B. Maybe it's because they took this figure from another question and adapted it to this question. So that's my guess, but I have no clue why else it's there. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.